Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my March Ipsy bag here for you today. And as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've tried out the goodies inside and I've got some thoughts and little mini reviews for y'all. So let's get to it. So there's a really pretty little card in here. It says, you are beautiful, pass it on. Now on the back it says, pretty as pretty does. Share this card with someone who could use a little love. So I think that's really cute. The bag is beautiful this time. It's kind of like folded over. It's like a fabric-y sort of a bag. Um, and I love the like pattern on it. I love the kind of like blush sort of a shade to it. It's really, really pretty. So first off in my bag, I got a little mask. This is the Mud Masky, the Mud Masky Facial Detox Purifying Recovery Mask. And it says pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening, and smoothing. So I used this the other night um, and it is like a clay sort of a mask. Um, it has like a little bit of like grittiness to it which was really kind of cool i don't know why i'm showing you that it looks just you know kind of like baby poop or something i'm not really sure but i like how it works like it really um seemed to like exfoliate my face but also help to kind of like do all those other things like the pore refining i could definitely see um smoothing for sure brightening maybe i don't know about hydrating because it's you know the clay so it seemed more like I don't really particularly think about clay masks being hydrating. This felt more like clean up your skin kind of a thing. You know what I mean? But I like it. Um, skincare is not my favorite thing to get in bags. I've said that before. I really wish I didn't get skincare, but if I do get skincare, I prefer to get masks. Next, I got a brush and mine is dirty because I used it today and I didn't think to spot clean it before coming in here and filming this video. So I probably should have done that but it didn't, so it's a little bit dirty. This is the Elizabeth Mott Blending Brush. I love this. I think it's super pretty. I love the turquoise um, handle on it, so I think it's a really pretty brush, but also it's like really nicely made. The bristles are really soft. It worked perfectly for applying um, my crease shade and transition area shade, just whatever you wanna call that area right there. That's what I used it for. And it worked really nicely. Like it, it has like a nice um, balance between like it's got density where it will apply the product, but it also has movement and like give to it where it kind of like blends and distributes the product. So I really, really like this a lot. Next, I got a hair product. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer with argan oil and sunflower seed oil for all hair types. And I had to take a picture of the back of it to really learn about this product because that writing is so tiny and my eyesight isn't so good. So I took a picture of it and I zoomed in on it. So it's like a little magnifying glass. It works really well. Okay, so it says, infuse with argan oil and sunflower seed oil to give your hair its daily dose of vitamins and nutrients. This multitasking formula does it all. Detangles, nourishes, strengthens, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine, reduces frizz, and protects against thermal, environmental, and UV damage. With 10 benefits in one spray, you'll save precious time and vanity space. So I did use this today. I washed my hair today. Um, okay, first off, I can definitely tell it's like a nutrient-rich sort of a hair product. Like it just feels like soft in the hair um, and it smells really good. I've really, really enjoyed everything I've tried from, from the Eva NYC line. I like the way it smells, like the way it works. This one in particular, um, I think this would be probably better suited for hair types other than like fine hair like mine because I would just have to be really light handed with it. I think I use a little bit too much today because it made my hair feel really soft, which most people would be like, wasn't well, that a good thing? But for me, I already have kind of like baby fine soft hair. So if things make it more soft, it just like lays, you know what I mean? So I think I would need to use less of it. I really had to work to kind of like get any sort of movement and curl in my hair. It just didn't have enough, it made it not have as much grit, which I wanted to have some grit, some grip, so that when I curl it, it actually like holds it. You know what I mean? So I think it's a really nice product, but for me with my fine hair, I just would need to use a lot less of it. You know what I mean? So, and hair products, again, aren't my favorite thing to get in bags. I prefer makeup products or tools. Um, while I like this product, I would have loved maybe like an eyeshadow instead. Next, I got a lip product. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Rosé. So I do have this on today. I 
really like this. I've never tried these. Um, well, I tried like the, I know they like, didn't they redo these? I tried the other ones and they were kind of more like a traditional liquid lipstick sort of a situation. And then I know that they switched up their formula somehow, so I hadn't tried them since they switched up their formula because I'd heard that they dry really quickly and feel pretty dry. Um, but I actually really like this. Like, yes, it does dry down quickly and yes, it does feel very matte, but it's not sticky at all. And this color really doesn't show the line of they're not there. So I actually really, really like this. I think it's, you know, pretty comfortable, not hydrating, but not like super duper drying on the lips. And yeah, I, it's, I did I say this? I like the color. I like the color and I like the formula. And then lastly in my bag, I got a little blush. This is the Dirty Little Secret. And this is blush. It just says blush. It doesn't have any kind of like a fancy long name blush in kitty pink. I wouldn't say that this is pink, so I think the name is a little bit misleading. I do have this on today. Um, I have a highlighter on with it too, but this is really nice and really pretty. I like this a lot. Like it's just a really beautiful matte peach shade. That's why I'm like, I wouldn't say that that's pink. I mean, it's maybe more on the pinky side of like a you know, peach. It's not super duper orangey, but I would still say it's more of a peach color. Anyway, it's still beautiful. Like it blended really nicely onto the skin. Um, just easy to work with, nice pigmentation, but a really nice texture to it. So it didn't stick on my face, it really blended nicely. I like this a lot. So this is my favorite thing in the bag. This is so good. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. So I think this was a really good bag. You know, I really enjoy everything that's in here, but definitely my standouts would be the lip product and then the blush and the brush. Just because these are products that I like to get in my bags um, and I really do like these products. Like they're products I like to get, but I also really like these. So those are my standout favorites, but I think it was a really good bag. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. I would love to know that. If you wanna sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.